So this number one featherweight contender is no stranger to this setting. Tonight, though, he believes he's just a much better version of himself and finally has the goods and the chops to actually be a world champion. Sometimes you get there, John, and you're just not ready. It's not easy to become the best in the world. The first time this man got here, he was a great fighter. He was good, but he just wasn't ready to be the best in the world. He said that the moment he got back home, he went to work to improve it. He feels like all the improvements were made. And tonight, he's the best featherweight the UFC has. And it does seem as though we have taken two-way action on this fight, but a lot of people believe in the challenger. And I'm not just talking about his coaches. We'll see how it goes tonight. So here he is right now at present, the best we have to offer at 145 pounds, the undisputed featherweight king, Alexander Volkanovsky. And you want to talk about a championship performance as betting underdog. A lot of people look at Rafael Dos Anjos back in the day against Showtime Pettis. How about what Volkanovsky did in outclassing Max Holloway to realize UFC goal? And he's just starting to put it all together. So it's a scary proposition for the rest of this featherweight division to think just how good this Volkanovski could be now, having made those improvements since winning the belt against him. Tale of the tape for this featherweight championship fight. Here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Elia El Matador And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed. USC featherweight champion of the world, Alexander the Great Volkanovski. Herb Dean, our referee for this one. Great. Good. Well, it has been amazing to watch Alexander Volkanovski's progression, even when you look back to past title defenses against the likes of the Korean Zombie, almost smiling as if to say, man, I thought you were good. I didn't know you were that good. And in theory, Volkanovski ready to present an even better version here tonight. Slips the shot. Oh, nice left hook there from Volkanovski. Volkanovski is such a phenomenal fighter. I believe his confidence is what truly carries him to be so spectacular, to be so successful. He believes with every part of himself that he is the absolute best fighter in the world. The one-two punch is true. So one minute into this fight, and as many people expected, the action absolutely crazy. Back and forth. This is a full-on brawl, DC. It's hard to watch a fight like this and call a fight like this because you never know when somebody's going to take that one shot that finishes the fight. 
another blistering combination there, really starting to do a nice job stringing the shots together. And you can see the damage in his opponent's body, his face, his body, his legs. He's beating him up on all the targets. It's not one guy just headhunting. He is finding every opening that is presented to him. Oh, great block there. Some nice back and forth action here. Topuria gets caught with that punch. Volkanovski's nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut perhaps there on the bridge. Him, but couldn't finish it. He rocked him. He hurt him bad. He couldn't find that one shot to close the door. Could not shut the lights off. And now he's tasked with trying to find that shot again. Well, the champ Volkanovski continues to keep his opponent guessing here tonight. You lower the guard and he goes upstairs and he's able to land the right hand there. Lands that beautiful right hand. But if you start thinking like Topuni is trying for a submission here. Oh, good technique there. He's got the triangle choke locked in. Oh, he escapes. He got out. I mean, wow. That is great submission defense. 30 seconds. Oh, nice. Topuria gets up. He is back on the feet here. Oh, Volkanovski. Just a nasty. He is going to kick. Even the kick. We're going to stay with him and follow him back to the corner to the stool. All right, well, defense wins championships, and perhaps he can shore some things up there. Here's him. Ready to fight? Ready. Second Ready. round underway. His leg is hurt here. You can see him limping a little bit. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. pretty crazy thus far. Both guys doling out a lot of damage, and neither seems too bothered by it, but clearly both parties are hurt. Both guys are hurt. Both guys are fighting beautifully. Both are showing a lot of heart right now in this fight. They're both... Another debilitating leg kick. This I mean, this looks like it's about to be over. He has taken way too many of these leg kicks. Ooh. Nice leg kick. Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV. Yeah, let's go to Rodney on his feet. Oh, he Blood now, and yes, the doctor is going to be called in. The referee pauses the action. His nose is absolutely mangled. It's smashed. He's huh. done a great job of smashing that nose, pushing it back. You see the blood coming down the face into the mouth, but it should not affect him being able to see his opponent in front of him. All right, so the doctor talking to the referee, and it looks as though the fight's going to continue. He's got to go for it now, though. That cut's not going to get any better. It is not going to get any better. Now he's got to take some chances. He's got to go out on the shield if he's going to go out. I'm not certain he'll get to go out again. Well, I can't even relate to the mental and physical toughness we are seeing from these two individuals. Both fighters damaged. Oh, my goodness. What an absolutely crazy knockout here, and that's...
that's going to be a hard knockout from which to recover for his opponent. But the celebration is on one of the biggest wins in his UFC career. Massive win for this young fighter. He got the knockout victory. What a performance. All right, we set it inside for the official decision. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 32 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC featherweight champion of the world, Elia El So how about it? We got a new UFC featherweight champion, and you weren't even looking at your phone. You saw the whole thing. I saw the whole thing. I was stuck watching this guy. This guy got all, this guy had my full attention. He's a great fighter, a great performance to become the champ of the world.